Hi, welcome to the next assembly video for the RepRap Prusa Mendel Iteration 2. In the last video, we installed the, the belt for the Y-axis, and um, I noticed when I started moving the bed around that uh, the belt was binding up down here on the fender washer. So in order to fix that, I just loosened these nuts and I moved the, uh, the bearing over a little bit to keep that from binding. It probably started happening because I didn't line up the belts very well when I installed the belt clamps. So just be aware of that. You might need to move that to get it to, to get it to fit and center there. In this video, we're going to uh, assemble the X axis. So we'll need the X ends, motor mount and idler. And then we will also need the 380 millimeter smooth rods. These are the longer rods that are left. So these just uh, slide into the holes here. And now um, sometimes these holes are really tight and it could take uh, quite a bit of effort to get them in. Uh, sometimes you might even need to drill it out a little bit with your 8 millimeter or 5 16 drill bit to get these to slide in. Um, as you might notice, these XNs are actually different than the XNs at GitHub. Um, that's because these are, uh, these are custom. The, these were actually uh, designed by um, Northwest RepRap, nwreprap.com. And so they're, they're a little bit different. Um, I like them. They're, they're measured out to be really precise. I mean, the nuts fit into the, into the holes really snug. The bearings fit really snug and uh, just comes together really nicely. So, um, okay. Also, we are actually going to need to put the bearings on here first. So, oops, go ahead and pop that off. Don't make that mistake. So I'm going to put on four since uh, my bed uses four four bearings. But also, actually, if um, if your uh, not bed but um, X carriage, if your X carriage only uses three bearings, you could still install the fourth bearing. Um, it would actually fit down here at the end and not get in the way. And that way, you could always uh, maybe print out and try a four uh, bearing carriage later on. So pretty much, um, you just need to need to get this fit on here to where um, to where it matches up with the stepper motors, and you can just sort of eyeball it and make sure that uh, that is that's the right distance apart. Just look down the look down the holes here for where the Z screw um, goes through, and just match it up with the center of the stepper motors. And that's about right. It doesn't need to be perfect. So. We'll actually measure that out and get that measured up later. Um, so that's it for this for now. Uh, we'll install the X carriage and stuff later. But um, next, uh, this will need to get attached um, to the Z axis. In order to do that, we will need the lead screws. So that will be the two shortest threaded rods that are left. We'll need uh, some, some nuts. These are um, 220 millimeter, by the way. And uh, we'll need the, uh, the, the Z-axis screws, or uh, springs, excuse me. And um, yeah, that'll be good. Let's go ahead and get this assembled. Um, go ahead and start off by, by putting uh, the M8 nut on the ends here of the threaded rods. And uh, the reason for this is because it makes it easier to get them installed in the bottom section here. As you can see on these, it fits really, really snug. So you might not have to do that on yours, but this fit really, really well. And go ahead and put in the spring. Both sides here. And this will need to, um, you need to put the, the nut up to about where it's, um, to where it fits about flush on the top. On the top of the uh, of the uh, X end right there. You can see how it fits about flush. So you basically just push it down until you feel it touch the other nut on the other side. And if it's up too high, then bring it down. If it's down too low, then bring it up. 
until it's about flush with the top side here. Oops. There we go. Okay, and then go ahead and uh, bring these down a little ways. That's probably good for now. So just about an inch, an inch and a half or so. Maybe about 50, you know, 40, 40 millimeters or so. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right. Perfect. Okay. All right. And now um, let's go ahead and attach the couplers. Okay, so this particular coupler um, has sort of a spring design uh, so that it doesn't, um, it doesn't cause any binding. And um, it has an eight millimeter end and a five millimeter end. This goes to the stepper motor, this goes to the lead screw. And it has two kinds of, two kinds of um, uh, fittings on here. It has a compression uh, fitting with, uh, with a set screw, and then it has a set screw that mounts to uh, the flat end of the shaft on the stepper motor, and then just um, presses against the threads on the uh, lead screw. So you want to um, set the, the, uh, the set screw first, uh, which goes all the way through and touches on the shaft. And then you'll do the compression side next. And then when you, um, when you mount this, you want to look through the grooves in the spring area and make sure that the top of the threaded rod is about halfway through. You don't want to put it all the way to the top, just about halfway is good. And go ahead and tighten it up, make sure it can't come off. And then once you get that tightened, then you can go ahead and tighten the, um, the compression side. Oops. I may not have the right size for this. Oh, yeah, I do. Okay, and then go ahead and do the other side. About halfway. Uh, the reason why you want it to be about halfway is because you don't want um, you don't want this shaft on the stepper motor to touch the um, the lead screw. So you want there to be a gap in between them. All right, that feels kind of, uh, yeah, okay. Actually, you know, I think you might actually want to do the compression side first. I think I was wrong about that. Yeah, don't make that mistake. You want to do the compression side first. But, uh, whatever, that's fine. Okay, um, now we can go ahead and actually um, get this installed. So, um, now all of my electronics and everything are going to go right here. So, I'm going to put the uh, XN motor on this side. So, go ahead and just kind of feed it through here. And,. Uh, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and mount them to the stepper motors. In this case, mine are too close together, so I'm going to loosen them up a little bit, spread them apart a little bit. Okay, and now I can now I can fit them. So go ahead and do the compression side first. Put 
make sure that you get the um, the flat side of the stepper motor lined up. Oh, here, I'm gonna do this on its side so that you can see what I'm doing. Just go ahead and fit it onto the shaft and then tighten it up, okay? Now look through, look through the threaded grooves and make sure that the, um, the shaft and the stepper motor isn't touching the lead screw. Make sure there's a gap between them. Just a small gap is fine. Go ahead and tighten up the compression side. Okay, that feels pretty good. Now I'm going to go ahead and, and do this side. You might need to tighten up the um, the set screw a little bit so that you can turn it so that you can get to the compression fitting or the compression uh, set screw. Okay, and then go ahead and tighten it up. Yeah, that's feeling pretty good. Then you can go ahead and adjust them up and down just to see if they turn smoothly. It's looking pretty good. Um, and we will get this uh, measured out later, the distance measured out. And um, we will also uh, get the height and everything adjusted and, and stuff later. But uh, that takes care of it for now. Now, you know, there are different ways to, to get this assembled, to get this attached. And I have found that by assembling the X um, axis and then attaching it to the screw, to the, um, to the step promoters first, really makes this whole process really easy. So stay tuned and um, we'll get more of this connected in the next video. Thanks for watching.